hello hello welcome back to my channel it is Taj aka Mataj Massage and this is Mataj Midas Living I need to get myself comfy oh, I shouldn't have worn jeans anyways shout out to my bestie for the jumper by the way um yeah how are you I hope you're blessed let me know in the comments how you've been, how you've been finding these prophetic messages I've been putting out recently. This is another one, by the way, God has been coming through with them thick and fast. There's one I've been holding on to, I think, from last year, but I haven't had instruction to put that out yet. So I just have to wait and see. But as there's more coming through, I'm just doing as I'm told and putting them out. But before we get into the actual message itself, if we vibe, join the tribe, make sure you like, comment, share and subscribe. And also don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you are notified of when I have new content out. So this one is a positive prophetic message. So it's not a prophetic warning. It's it's a good one. It's a word of encouragement um, from Abba. And I've got a trusty notebook, nothing on the computer. It all came through last night. So today is the 20th of January, 2023. And I got the message last night, I was in the early hours. No, it was last night at 11, 19 PM. And then I probably finished it around one something in the morning. I was like distracted along the middle, but I'm hoping it doesn't take me too long to get through this. Um, there's one, two, three, four, four and a bit sides. And I'm just gonna read through it, but sometimes Holy Spirit wants to say extra stuff. So I don't know, bear with me, but I hope it's a short one. Let's end this intro now. And let me just get into a prayer quickly and then we will get into the prophetic message. Father, thank you for providing me with this space to be able to get your messages across. Thank you for using me as a vessel to provide these messages to your people who you were calling back to you. I pray that you cover their lives in steps with the blood of Jesus, keep them safe, keep them in alignment with where you're taking them, Father, and away from the distractions of the enemy the father of lies. Father, I ask that you anoint my tongue so that I can say this message in the best possible way so that those who receive this message can understand what it is you're calling them to do and what it is you're trying to let them know clearly and concisely. There's something else I wanted to say. Um, I ask that you anoint my mind so that my mind is clear from any distractions. As you can see, there was a distraction just then. And I just ask that you keep me focused on this message. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Right. See that? The enemy tried to infiltrate my prayers. But we rebuke that. So anyways, let's get straight into it. So I've got, I was meditating to a Neo Soul Vibe playlist last night. Just wanted to have a little bit of chill time with God. I think I set my timer for like 15 minutes. It was literally going to be a short meditation. And then I don't even know how long into the time, but the alarm hadn't gone off yet. And I heard silent prayers. That's all I heard. And I was like, silent prayers? And then I heard silent prayers are being answered and then straight after that i heard your silent prayers are being answered so i was just like okay this is just a message for me i'm like okay i get what that means cool this is exciting but then after that now all of this message these four and a bit pages or however long it is just came through so i was like Okay, it's a message, let me write it down. Um, so here's an, get, I'm guessing what's an explanation. So I haven't read this. I literally just channeled it, was kind of paying attention as I was channeling it through and it was resonating. 
and then just left it and I'm looking at it fresh so it's like I'm hearing the message for the first time almost um so I've got those are the private prayer requests you put in after you have prayed for everyone else and um, the prayers when your heart was breaking and all you could do was curl up on the floor and cry from the pit of your heavily burdened soul God says I was right there in all of these moments that's when I embraced you tighter than ever even when you couldn't feel it through the physical pain of your emotions it broke my heart to see your shattered I heard every prayer that your lips didn't dare to say and those you had no strength to pray the Holy Spirit interceded on your behalf and grasped every emotion as she comforted you. Oh my gosh, I got goosebumps reading that and felt like, I guess, I don't know how you feel the Holy Spirit, but one of the ways that I feel the Holy Spirit is like in this area, like around my um, heart, like around kind of near my sternum. And it feels like really warm, Oh, it's kind of, it's hard to explain, but it's like a really warm feeling. It's like, it feels like a hug. That's probably the best way I can explain it. If you know, you know, I guess you have your own way how you feel the Holy Spirit. But then I also, even now, <laughs> hey, Holy Spirit, I can feel like on my shoulders, like I'm being embraced. It feels so nice. It's like really warm as well. And do you know how I know the Holy Spirit's here as well? Because where I am right now, the heating isn't working, so it's, like, really cold. And I've got my hot water bottle here because I was going to have it under my jumper or be like this. I don't even need it. It's really weird, and I'm that person that's always cold. So, yeah, the Holy Spirit's definitely present. Anyways, let me continue. So this is this is all coming from God. I'm taking you to a place where life will be so good, you'll all... <laughs> Get your words out, Taj. <laughs> I am taking you to a place where life will be so good, you almost won't remember those afflictions. I say almost because they are a part of what made you. The fire refined you. It was never going to destroy you, even though at times... You thought it would. I used it to make you into the person worthy of these abundant blessings. Wow, I'm getting goosebumps. Ah, uh, so yeah, you know, if you're on the path where you've surrendered your life and you're just like, I just need to be obedient to what God has got for me. Yes, we make mistakes. Yes, we trip up. Yes, we sometimes regress. But the intentions of our heart is pure, and it's just like we want to do what we need to do for our father and his kingdom like we're about his bid about his business that's it that's literally it and then while we're going through that everyone's coming for you like everyone is coming for you left right and center because the enemy will literally use anyone to stop you from doing god's will because by us falling into alignment with what God has for us, we are public enemy number one for the real enemy. So he's gonna come against us in any way possible. And yeah, at times it feels like you just don't even wanna be here anymore. I'm sure many of you can resonate with that. And I'm just being real because it's hard. It's really hard. But there's always that little thing in us just like, no, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, it's hard. I don't want to do this. Come on, keep going, keep going. It's kind of like that. You battle with yourself and you're like, no, I'm actually giving up this time. Like, I'm done. I'm not doing this anymore. God, it's too hard. And then something and then some time might go by and then you're like, no, do you know what? I need to get up and I need to keep going. And that's the Holy Spirit pushing you, giving you that strength to keep going. And I know it's not my own strength because I would have given up ages ago. I would have given up so long ago. But there's always that pull in. It's just like, come on, keep going. Anyways. Kind of sidetracked there. Where did I get up to? 
yeah and all those things make us who we are anyways the rejection brought you closer to me this is what kept your heart pure had you turned away from me your heart would have turned cold bitter unforgiving and jealous thus separating you from me and your destiny when you were at rock bottom you still encouraged and uplifted people when people persecuted you you forgave in your heart although what they did continues to hurt i know he said there are not many people in this world that can do that truly forgive i mean only by having an intimate relationship with me and fully surrendered life will have your heart that pure as an adult who has been mistreated all their life from every angle i know you guys can definitely resonate with that as well no one loves like my chosen ones and that's like all in capitals with an exclamation mark he says we love hard hard is in um capitals as well <laughs> excuse me and then it's like but like hard <laughs> like we love hard <laughs> and we love deep like literally we're very much all or nothing people in the sense that when god gives us insight on our prophecy we will jump in with both feet and we try <laughs> or if we try to swerve it like jonah that is until we stop being stubborn <laughs> after trying to <laughs> bargain our way out of it and then he's got i know you know what i mean i definitely do <coughs> you know when god's telling you like you need to fix up on something and you know that you do and you're like okay yeah 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 and you're like oh, next month we'll deal with that and you know you need to start on it now you're like no nah, next month can we just start next month i just want to be toxic just for one more month and then we'll elevate the level uh, have you ever done that like you can tell me if you have let me know in the comments um i know i've done it i'm guilty of it i'm just like oh i just I don't want to be, oh, I don't want to follow the rules. Why can't I just do that? But it's because we know better. But yeah, we try it and then we get convicted or something happens and we're like, oh, fine, I'll do it now then. When we should have just done it in the first place, really. Don't get swallowed by a whale like Jonah. Because then it just delays you from getting to where God needs you to be anyways. So you might as well have just done it properly in the first place and just be like okay god because we know that we're going to end up there anyways we know we <laughs> we know that's where we're going to end up it's so dumb we put it off but really we're shooting ourselves in the foot because we know that everything that god does for us is to make our lives better is to make us better <laughs> but we still do dumb stuff like that oh we don't want to do it yet I've literally just, I'm almost being convicted right now. <laughs> it is dumb. It is dumb. Yes, the Holy Spirit is dumb. <laughs> but it's because we're like children. <laughs> the whole pure heartedness of us. We are like children, so we act like brats sometimes. It is what it is. And he still loves us. And we still love him. Anyways, I digress. Mmm where did i get oh yeah so we love hard and we love deep <laughs> so yeah we're all enough in people as i said um because we love like christ and those of us that are in a season of transitioning from there that does not make sense <laughs> let me rewind so the next thing he said is and because we love like christ and those of us that are in a season of transitioning from their long Joe wilderness season, I am on the cusp. I can feel it. Um, anyways, he says, we deserve the love of Christ returned to us. He said, as we cross over into our breakthrough starter, <laughs> literally like that, 
is where he'll start aligning us with other chosen ones and destiny helpers who will love us like Christ in various ways. So it can be restored family relationships, restored friendships, um, restored marriages, new families, new friends, new marriages, new work colleagues, new managers. I could go on, but you get the point. Um, all the scenarios that have caused us hell, whether it be our family, frenemies, he's written, <laughs> you know, those ones who you thought were your friends, but really they hate you. Um, that, so basically, yeah, the frenemies that you'd ride or die for and they really wanted you dead. Some of them, it, it really went that far. You showed them nothing but love and even bettered their lives. While they learned from you, they hated you. It's tapped. It's actually tapped. It's weird. Anyways, um, he said it's like an angry obsession. It can be dangerous in some cases. And he's put, let's be real. And it's true. In some instances, it really can get like that. Like that, um, I think I believe it was a... Latina singer Selena, there's that weird angry obsession in that scenario where she ended up being killed. So yeah, it can it can go that far in some instances. Um because remember they're enemies here to kill, steal, and destroy, so that can be an intention. Um what else? But yeah, because of all the suffering you endured through the intense, never again, he's put in, in closed brackets, warfare, and how you carried yourself. And then in brackets, it's got, you showed grace, patience, kindness, forgiveness, selflessness, and most of all, love, closed brackets, is why you're finally going to start receiving the type of love you give so freely to loved ones and strangers you deserve it. So the next thing he's put is, unconditional love is heaven's currency and you've accumulated a life-changing, legacy-leaving, generational wealth-creating amount and it's time to cash out. The doors of heaven's bank is open and all God needs to do is make the transfer. I like that. God's got bars. <laughs> this can manifest not only materially but by opportunities people old and new at work at home pretty much anywhere and it will be unexpected he said some people may even receive unexpected checks and others debts miraculously cleared you heard it here first if anyone has experienced that please let me know in the comments I received an unexpected check before, like years ago, before I knew that God worked this deep, like, because I placed limits on him, as we all do. But I know better now. Um, and yeah, it was, it wasn't for like loads. It might have been like, it was between like 50 and 80 pounds. And just like, this check just came. I was like, what is this for? And I was like, I haven't claimed any like kind of mobile phone insurance or anything. I wasn't due anything. And I was just like, I bet if I cash it, it's not going to work. I was just like, yeah, it, it's got to be some sort of mistake. I even tried, I think I searched the company or something. I can't even remember what it was, but I was just like, okay, well, it's in my name. Let's cash it. But it's probably not going to work. Went through. That was a gift from God. So yeah, it happened. And I've heard stories where other people have had like even bigger amounts. And I've heard stories of people where their debts are like just gone and they're like, no, check it. And they're like, there's nothing there. So it can happen. Like if God created this whole universe, what makes you think he can't just hack into a computer system and change things around? Like he literally rules everything. Even the technology that we make, it's only because he's the one who provides the wisdom for those things because even if it's someone working on the dark side God is still in control he only allows what he allows to happen so it's still from God anyway <laughs> I 
I digress. So yeah, then I've got, just continue to be obedient. You've proved that I can trust you with a little, so I am going to bless you with much. I'm proud of you and I love you. Oh, it's making me all giddy. Anyways, so that's the end of the actual message. And then this is stuff that I wrote after. So it's like, God pretty much immediately confirmed this message. Like no lie what did i put at about midnight i finished writing the prophetic message then was getting ready to brush my teeth and i wanted to catch up on youtube and then a video popped up by stephanie p smith yes stephanie p smith check her out her energy is amazing she's very holy spirit filled and her message is very encouraging um anyways the title of the video was you were mistreated and i was drawn to it and basically it was talking about the ill treatment of chosen ones and how we love wholeheartedly and we can't we like we don't do things by hearts which is what i mentioned earlier in this video about us being all or nothing people and that we love hard and we love deep <laughs> anyways um oh and then i've got and when we're accused of something even when we've done no wrong and are in fact blameless we still try to find where we can take accountability it's because of the kind of hearts that we have is where pure heart is um pure not perfect by the way even when God says that we're good, so when we're like, are you sure we haven't done anything wrong? He's like, you're good. Like, he hasn't convicted you because there's nothing to convict. And then we just have to make sure and we're like, are you sure, are you sure, are you sure? Even though we know we've not done anything wrong, we're, we're really trying to just make sure because we don't want to wrong people. We don't want to hurt people. Like we don't have bad intentions yes we can make mistakes and we can hurt people in the process of making those mistakes and poor choices and or when we decide to be disobedient but most of the time we're like no we're trying to be good people and do right by people and not hurt people even though we constantly get hurt we don't want to inflict what we go through onto other people because we know how it feels that hopefully that makes sense so you know how they have that whole thing with like, oh, hurt people, hurt people. Chosen ones aren't like that. Like once we get into alignment with where God's taken us, we're not like that. And I can hand on heart say that. And I just got a warm fuzzy hug from Holy Spirit, so that confirmed it too. Anyways, um, so yeah, then I've got, and it's because of how our heart is set up, why he's rewarding us. That was from him, not the video I'm talking about, that little bit. That's why he's rewarding us. That was directly from him. I'll make sure I link the video below as well. And then what else? Oh yeah, she even mentioned about it being our time to shine and to step out from isolation. Obviously that's gonna be under God's instruction. So if God's already told you, you need to get yourself out there, get yourself out there. I know he hasn't told me that yet, but I also know that I am on the brink. Like, I think I'm just starting to crack open the cocoon. So I can see a bit of light, but I'm still very much in the cocoon. That's how I kind of feel where I am. Holy Spirit just confirmed that with a hug. <laughs> Anyways, um, sorry, I get all giddy when I feel the Holy Spirit. Oh, this is the last thing he said. We are turning the page of the book of Job where God restores everything. I like that. So we are turning the page of the book of Job where God restores everything. So yeah, just coming out of the cocoon. That kind of is about the same amount. We're just getting to it. Almost there, but not quite. Um, then I've got God confirmed this message that I gave again with another video straight after watching the Stephanie P. Smith one. Um, and it was 
it's by a woman whose page is walk heavy and it was titled don't fall back or hold back and i'll also link that video below as well so yeah this was almost an hour after i finished writing this message that i've given you because i got distracted as you do i've written something here oh yeah i got sidetracked too sidetracked and distracted basically while i was brushing my teeth of like going off doing other things all at the same time i was like oh yeah let me watch the video so then i finished the stephanie p smith one and then straight after i saw the walk heavy one but i didn't start watching that till i got in bed but anyways that's not important <laughs> And basically she was talking about 2023 being our year and that it's time to stop shrinking and stand out in who God created us to be. And then at the end of watching that I heard isolation season is over. So yeah, we're on the cusp. We're going to be breaking out soon. All this stuff we've been doing in isolation, the rejection... The wilderness season is coming to an end <sighs> and I just felt that weird warm shiver from the Holy Spirit again so yeah I hope this word has encouraged you it's definitely encouraged me because I have definitely been struggling I hope it just gives you the little push that you needed to keep you going be like okay I can keep doing this because it definitely was that for me even though I wrote it yesterday and I kind of paid attention to some of what was being written reading it today is like the first time you're reading it properly and so yeah I kind of received it as I was reading it too and when I'm editing it's kind of the same thing I might pick up on things I didn't notice before as I was reading it because I'll be hearing it back and I just hope that it finds you well i hope it encourages you i hope it's blessed you don't forget if we vibe join the tribe make sure you like comment share and subscribe don't forget to hit the notification bell so you're notified of when i have new content out and thank you for watching this video and i will see you in the next one love you all